Hey everybody, it is Tuesday. It's my favorite day of the week. Uh working working week. Let's not let's not act like Tuesday is better than Saturday or Sunday. But definitely, you know, of the working week, it's it's right up there. Uh anyway, we're doing something new. We're 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 starting something. It's P it's it's uh Comp Tip Tuesday. You know, because I don't think we share enough knowledge and little tricks and nifty little techniques with one another in this uh in this industry and you know as a as a freelance compositor sometimes you pick up something at a certain studio and then move to another studio and then they don't seem to know the method or technique at all so i thought it would be a good idea to do comp tip tuesdays if that makes sense okay we're going to talk about this little guy pxf distort as an edge extent and a lot of people don't know you can use it that way. It's generally used as a distort, as a distortion node, like the name suggests. Very similar to the I distort that comes with Nuke. So here we have a checkerboard. We pipe in the noise information and then distort the checkerboard by the noise information. Very simple. That's generally how it's used, as you will see on their website. Yeah, it's uh, free, free to download, by the way, if you don't know. Um, right, so you can also use it as an edge extent. Generally, an edge extent is obviously done ver with, like the manual way is obviously done with eroding, pre-melting, blurring it, unpre-melting it, then you get this edge extension, and then overing back the detail, piping back the alpha, pre-melting it. And if we then look at the composite, then you will see, sometimes you will see certain issues with this technique and it's that the 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 place where you have edge extended doesn't have any detail it's just a constant and this is not very nice you see here it's all just it's just it's just one color and that's not good so one other way to do it is with a third party edge extent uh thing which there are a million of these so uh, one of this is just the edge extent node, but there's also color dilate and whatever. There's so many of them. Um, and it would be used to ex extend like this. You can kind of uh, erode it, ooh, erode it as far as you want. You can then bring in some detail. I think it just multiplies the luminance or whatever. Doesn't matter, but then so you will still see if we look at, if we look here, you will still see a very detailless uh, constant. So this is where PXF distort shines in situations like this. If it's if you don't have to distort, if you don't have to ex edge extend a lot, if you just have to edge extend one or two or three pixels, not a lot, um, it just kind of uses it like so. So you have the alpha, and it pushes all the white pixels. Uh, towards the black pixels, if that makes sense. That's kind of how I look at it. Uh, you pipe that into the lens, and the if you look at the values here, the higher the amount, the more it will obviously push them outwards. So you want to start real low, and generally the higher you go with the amount, the higher you would have to go with the blur. Ooh. See? Otherwise, it kind of collapses in on itself. It distorts in on itself, if that makes sense. But generally, you want to start at very low values. 0 0 0.01 and 1 is generally a good place. Sometimes you can bump it up to double that. And you can see it pushes the pixel outwards. And if we then overlay it over our composite, it's much nicer than the other uh, edge extents because it keeps it keeps some detail in there. There we go. This is with the grain back over it. Beautiful. So uh, when does this work? When does this not work? This does not work when the edges are very feathered. If there's a lot of motion blur or the subject is very defocused, because then you will have to uh, have very high values. Let's say these edges, ooh, let's see these edges are very defocused. 
you would have to really push the values outwards and it would just distort the whole image which you know you don't want to do obviously so it really shines in situations where it's just one or two pixels it's just you just kind of plug it in and it's done it works perfectly and a lot of people don't know about this so i figured people should know about this it's great it will so <laughs> it will it will cut your edge extension times in half whenever it's applicable so yeah Try it out. Don't use it on, on any feathered edges. It won't work. But definitely in situations like this, where you just have to edge extend one or two pixels, it's brilliant. Okay? Great. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and maybe see you next week. We'll see. Bye-bye.